I'm Annie Kroll, a producer of Viewpoints Radio. I spoke with experts about the popularity of emojis today and if the ones we choose reflect our personalities. Dr. Linda Kay, professor of psychology at Edge Hill University in the UK, took the time to discuss with me how my extroverted personality may affect my emoji use. <laughs> Something that I would love to know is, is there anything that you found while doing the research that was sort of surprising? Um, surprising. Yeah, I suppose the the thing when we were looking at the, the people's behavior on Facebook, something that did come out, which was quite interesting, was actually how accurate um, people could be when actually understanding somebody online, just at first impression. So part of the, the research we did wasn't just about trying to see how these different uh, personality traits related to people's behavior in terms of emoji. But the other thing we did was using that data with the participants' consent was actually then presenting that Facebook data to another set of participants who were were strangers, people they'd never met before. And what we actually found was that these strangers could actually look at somebody's Facebook profile and actually make quite accurate judgments about a number of the different traits just at a first impression. One of those traits was extroversion, uh, which makes a lot of sense because actually, there's so, well, being an, an extrovert yourself, you, you're probably aware that there's so many visible behaviors in relation to extroversion, like how much people talk and how much they might communicate with other people and all that kind of thing. But actually, the, the surprising thing was that people were very accurate at, at first impression, being able to understand how open, um, open-minded people were just from looking at their Facebook page. Um, and actually, part of that was about the, the types of emoji that, that they'd used. We now know that the personality traits of a stranger can be uncovered just by looking at the emojis they normally use. I wanted to go deeper and see why we like to use emojis in the first place. After speaking with Marcel Denessi, a linguistic and anthropology expert, I found that the roots of using visuals to help communicate go back to the prehistoric days. Visual languages have existed since the beginning of time. In fact, the origins of alphabets are in pictographic systems. Uh, we, we read images much more holistically and powerfully than we do written messages. I, I'm absolutely convinced that all those marvelous uh, religious paintings in churches in the medieval period uh, are texts to be read rather than written. Nobody could read at that time anyhow or wanted to read. It wasn't that much of a value. Listen to the full story on Apple Podcast, Google Play, and Spotify. Also follow us on Twitter and Instagram for more behind the scenes.